This is a definition of a breakfast sandwich. You have your egg, bacon, your two patties, the uh, another egg to top it, and then also your um, bread. And all you want to do it is drizzle over your homemade bourbon sauce. Closer look. You can completely get away with just a sandwich, but I also serve in mine with a side of grease. So if you enjoyed this tutorial, please like, share, comment, and subscribe. Thank you. Tune in next time. What I have done is already seasoned my own brown chuck. And so all you want to do is mix it all together. And this is, I'm mixing this all together for, um, I'm making breakfast biscuit burgers tonight. Okay, now you have it all mixed together. And I just set them on here. And this is parsley paper. I put one on top of it. And I roll another ball. I'm going to do it about four high. I'm all set for her. I'm going to take my little burger thing and just brush that. And I want it a little bit prettier than that, so we're going to do it over. you doing that you get the all your burgers rolled and pressed okay now <clears throat> now all your burgers is raw all you want to do is separate them so they won't stick to each other and 
that's it. Thank you guys for watching. Stay tuned for part two of the video. What I'm about to do is make the sauce for the burger. As you see, I have probably about two or three tablespoons of butter. Okay, now that you have your butter in there, cut your stove on, pull in your syrup, and the um, brand of syrup I'm using is Hungry Jack. And then you want to pull in a little bourbon. And if you have little people that's going to be eating this, you don't want to put too much because you don't want them to get drunk. <laughs> and one. And that's all the bourbon that I'm going to put in there. And as you see, I didn't put a lot at all. And you just want to stir this until it get thick. Okay, once your sauce start looking like this, you can go ahead and cut it off. Let's put all my burgers in a pan. I got the um, heat on kind of a high heat so it can start cooking. As you see right now, I'm cooking my bacon in the oven on 400. And this is the Smithfield bacon. Okay, right here I have my biscuits. All I did was kind of um, scratch them out a little bit and place them on there. And I did spray it with the Crisco butter flavor. Okay. All I'm doing is adding a little butter. And then I'm going to add the cheese. I already put salt and pepper. I used white pepper because I didn't feel like getting on the step stool to get my black pepper. Okay, you see how the first biscuit came out? And we're gonna do the same thing with those. And these are jumbo honey biscuits and all I do is try to scratch them out as far as I can and I just put it down. And when you finish your grit, should look like this, not soupy, not lumpy. See how creamy? Okay, so y'all, I didn't like the taste of the first biscuit, so I decided to do them a little bit lesser time to make sure they're still done and they taste better this way. The first time I left them in there for like, four minutes this time i'm only leave them for two and a half and they're all the way done completely through and they taste better when they're like this the other one had like a little burnt aftertaste okay as you see i put onions and a little cheese in my eggs i was going to do a sunny side up egg but i at the last minute i decided to change my mind and make waffle eggs so all you want to do 
to just pour a little of your egg batter in each. Each one of them. Look at those eggs. Oh, they're so cute. Okay, these are the last of the eggs that had to get done. So this concludes this video. If you want to see how I assemble to assemble this sandwich, please continue to watch.